we plead everyone with the peace of the Lord in reverence to the word of the Lord and those who could uh, to stand up at this time we're going to read a uh, book of Job. Job so Job Old Testament chapter 1 chapter 1 um, verse 20, 21, 22. First, uh, 21, 22. And it says the word of the Lord. Então... Jó se levantou, rasgou o seu manto e rapou a sua cabeça. E se lançou em terra e adorou. E disse, Nu saí do ventre da minha mãe. From the, my, mom, my mother's mom, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin, nor change God with wrong. O Lord, we glorify your name. I want to thank you because we're grateful to be here in this place with the fellowship with you. And we want to ask that once more you could be blessing all your people. We pray once more in the name of Jesus. Amen. The must be seated at this time. The word of the Lord in the first ver uh, verse of the Bible it says, in the principle, the Lord, He created the heavens and the earth. <coughs> in the book of Joe, not Job, Joe. In the first verse, in the first chapter, says, in the beginning, it was the verb, and the verb was with God. And the verb was God. And that all things were made because of Him. And without, and without Him, life um, was life. Uh, light was life. Uh, life for men. And darkness proclaimed. And they came to the person. And they didn't receive. But... For everyone who received, they were made the son of God. Those who, those who believe in the, and on His name, not seeing the flesh, but believing in God. I believe that those verses, on the first verse of Joel, we can say that this is one of the most extraordinary one. It tells us. All the story, or it's, it relates all the love of God to the life of man because we're uh, creations of God. But when we receive the Son of God, Jesus, there was the verb, there was the word, there was the principle that have done all things. We, bec we became. Um, we were not any more creatures, and then we became sons, and we get, we received the inheritance, and the inheritance was eternal life. That's why Joe talks about life, and he says that he was life. And Jesus said, that I'm, "I'm the way, I'm the right, I'm the life." And what is this life? The Bible says that this life, it is a, a story. It was just like a herb. Then in the morning, then in the morning it grows, and the afternoon when it dies, dry, it doesn't exist anymore. And Joe, and Job, 
Job. And Job, uh, the word says that he was a man. He was uh, just straight. And he would try to escape from uh, all bad things. He was a servant of God. And sometimes we think um, as a servant for the Lord. There's nothing bad will happen to me. When we look at the Psalms, uh, Psalms 23 says, uh, uh, "The Lord is my shepherd; nothing, you know." And he goes to the, uh, goes to the waters, fresh man. What if you walk to the to the valley of the shadow of death? Nothing will happen because God is with me. Oh, and there's more. Oh, pre prepare, prepare a table upon me and upon my enemies. And there he goes. But Jesus, he says, each one take your cross and follow me. In the world, we will have reflection, but I won the world. I overcame the world. So there are things like that that the servant of the Lord believe. And Job, he, he believed in God. Even though he only knew Jesus hearing about. The Bible says that um, Bible, uh, the Bible says that faith only comes from hearing the Lord. So Job, he already believed in God from his uh, existence, his power. Efficacy. Job already uh, deposited his trust in God in a such a way that he could understand, even though all things that he could go through and all those things, God had a plan. He had a project for his life because the project of life are way bigger than mine. It's bigger than ours. There are ways the man, the for the morning looks good, but in the end, it's not. So that's why Jesus said, I came to give you uh, life. And then we can think, but why, why so, so much suffering? If he was straight, he believed in God, was sincere, and he would try to escape from all bad things. In the end of the book of Job, Job uh, we can understand better the project of God for his life. Because in the end it says, before I've met you uh, from hearing that. With my ears I heard, but now I see you with my eyes. So everything that he went through was so he could contemplate contemplate so he could see so he could taste the great love for his life through all those periods of uh, of sec um, sadness affliction those things that uh, he heard He, he stood up in a posture. Yeah. He stood up through everything that was coming for, from his life. And he, my brothers, he was saying that he, when he received the message of all, everything that was happening, of everything that happened with his um, goods, of all things that happened with their child, his child, said, so, so Job, Job, he got up. When he, he talks about a rose, he talks about taking a position. So he took a position. And sometimes we have to take a position. 
in front of God. We have to take a stand uh, for the moment that we're going through. Sometimes the Bible says um, Jesus, he tries men and he tried his job. job. But, the, but God always also says, uh, tries me. So Job, he took a position through all the affliction that he was going through. The Lord says that he arose and he tore his robe. Um, Job, he was rich. He didn't have any dress. He had a robe. He was a, a prince in the middle of his people. He was a man that was recognized by all population, had a good testimony, a valorous, valorous man, a servant of the Lord, but he takes away his robe. David did the same thing. When the son of David, he died. The Bible says that David went there and he took away his robe. He now he puts himself in a position that will be grateful to love for the Lord. He doesn't come at Jesus and the Lord dressed up in his robe anymore. He doesn't come at Jesus, uh, the Lord to say anything oh I'm a prince or anything I have a uh, I have everything you know I'm a servant of the Lord I don't I don't do bad things but no he takes away his robe he, he comes in front of God and is poor and needy and David said I'm poor and needy he was king but he comes to the Lord to say I'm poor and needy but the Lord takes care of me so he he takes away his robe he takes away his his clothes he, he exposes his pain and his affliction in front of God he takes away his robe right there he came down, he ashamed himself, and the Bible says, when we humble ourselves, the Lord answers, he says, uh, it says that he shaved his head, the head talks about uh, the thoughts, what do you think was going through uh, Job's um, mind, he lost everything, he lost his child. The, the head it talks about the thoughts that could maybe interfere in the project of the Lord for your life you could be thinking many things maybe you came here tonight thinking about many things in your head many thoughts that could try to sail away from the project of the Lord for our lives so job he goes and he shaved his head so that means he takes away his his thoughts everything he takes away everything that could interfere his relationship with God and understand uh, the Lord have uh, the Lord didn't say about the the Lord's prayer yet but his, what he wanted was to make his book. Everything that he wanted was uh, was to do with the plan of the Lord. And that is what perfect us in his presence. You want to perfect a relationship with the Lord. And sometimes that goes through um, suffering shaved his head 
and he fell on the ground. So I never, never <laughs> show nothing, man. No Lord, I'm nothing. nothing. I'm, I'm nothing, you know. I'm Clay. Sometimes, uh, the guy... Uh, in my, from where I am, when the, the times are hard, you just uh, put your mouth in the, in the dust. And he was naked right there, so yeah. And then, the Bible says when, you, when you're naked, the Lord knows everything. You can, you don't have to say anything. The Lord knows everything. He knows everything is going through my my life. He threw his uh, he threw himself to the ground, and he worshipped the Lord. Uh, I'm a brother. When everything is good, is it's wonderful to to plead. When you have money. When you have a house in front of the beach, the family, everything's right, you know, the wife, the husband, no, there's nothing better than that, right? It's light, it's easy to pray. It is good, everyone's praising the Lord, it's easy. What I want to see now here. Here, uh, Job, he was being tested. He didn't say anything. He didn't lament it. Because sometimes we, we say that, you know, sometimes we, we talk about our life. Oh, this hurt, that's why I didn't come or anything like that. But Job, he worshipped the Lord. He glorified the name of the Lord. He understood that on everything that was happening, the Lord had a project for his life. My brother, the Lord has a project for your life, our life. Sometimes the moments are going through, um, bad things are going through, you know. And that's the moment that you need to show yourself to the Lord, you know, present yourself to the Lord. So I can only, so I cannot only know God from here, it, because only, because knowing Lord from here, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sure that you're going to eternity, you know. And the project of the Lord is to take us to eternity, because if we desire anything for this life only, we don't deserve it. But God had took us out of the poverty. He gave us love. And now Job, he was going to feel the mercy of God. That help us to not be consumed. He was, he was in a struggle, but the mercy of the God was right there to not let it consume him. And the word of the Lord says, they are new every day. So every day, the Lord wants to use the grace to our life. There was a moment. He was worried because his son, his child, had gone, and he didn't know what to do. And Lord heard all his affliction, all his all his questions, everything that he was going through. And the Lord had an answer prepared for him. The Lord saw it and said, I'm resurrection and life. Whoever said will live. What good way to to help, huh? To know if we have the Lord. It is just to know if my my son, all of my family believe in God, my brother my brother in faith if they died I don't know I know that one day I'll see them in eternity that's how Lord help us feel better 
Job says that Job used to make sacrifice to the Lord. And the Bible says, without the blood, without the shedding of the blood, there is no blessing. But our sins are being are being forgiven. You know why? Because the Lord, He died, and His blood went to the cross. And through this blood, He gave us access to the presence of the Lord. That's why the Bible says, That's why Jesus said that we're going to find peace in Him through the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, Job, he prayed, and it says, Naked, I came from the, my mother's womb. When I came here, I came naked. And, and the Lord has said, and the Lord said, um, when I come back, I'll come back, I'll come back naked. Um, I've never seen, I've never seen anything like that. So he's showing that a man, he comes here without anything. And he goes out without anything. But when he comes here, when it is in the book of Job, uh, Jesus says he's the light that light up every man. So when Job, Job came, he came on light. He came in the, inside of the project of the Lord and the revelation. He came on his will, because of his will. Everything was made from him. He's a true light that lights men. So Job, he came from a project, and he lived this project of the of the Lord every single day of his life. He left the light, and he will come back to the light. Because Job, he didn't attribute to the Lord. Nothing, because Job, he didn't sin through the struggle that he was going through, but he worshipped the Lord. And that's what the Lord wants. It is to adore the Lord. When Anna, he, she went to the house of the Lord, she she received the word from the Lord saying, you don't look sad anymore. When when Jesus received the sin uh, in their arms, he said, go in peace. So that's what the Lord wanted to do with Job. So Job could see and know the Lord by seeing it. So he could be saved. Because it wasn't the just of the Lord that was going to judge the Lord. It wasn't... It wasn't it was the Joseph job that was gonna judge him. No, it was God. And the Bible says, glorify the name of the Lord because he took it and he gave it back. My brothers, we have to, to put in practice in my life. The Lord has taken away, amen. The Lord have added, Amen. Why? Because this is what God wants. What is important? What is important is that the word of the Lord says and has all the meaning. He lost everything. No, he didn't lose everything. He lost almost everything. But he didn't lose the faith that he had in the Lord. And many things, we are really close to lose everything. And sometimes we almost lose everything. But we cannot lose the faith in our Jesus Christ. Just like it says the servant Paul. It says, um, keep your faith. Because without faith, there is no way you can adore the Lord. So Job, he, he adored the Lord. He 
He gave his way to the Lord. Give your way to the Lord and the Lord will do everything. And what happened next? The Lord of restored. We're talking a lot about restoration. Fixing. And that's what the Lord did to his life. He reconstructed it. He brought it back. And the Bible says he given the Lord gave him in double everything that he had. So seek first. Seek first the Lord and all all things will be added. If you loved everything, you receive ten times more in the heavens. So the Bible says the Lord changed the life of Job. Job was naked, robe was torn apart, had shaved, but we cannot be laying down. We cannot accommodate ourselves. We cannot be shamed. Because it says, don't be ashamed of this world. So he stood up. He took a position from God. And he worshipped him. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujahs. Uh, the church will stand up at this time. The Lord shown a gift to woman that she lost a couple, a couple, a couple days ago. Um, a sweet lover, a family member. And inside of her, she's feeling sad. And she's feeling uh, suffering. But tonight, when she stood up to come to the house of the Lord, uh, today, a voice said to the sister and me, There's life. The Lord is life. And we know if he's dead, we'll live. And if he's alive, we'll never die. So, so yeah. So the Lord is also uh, giving a sister a, a deliverance of a feeling of uh, uh, feeling the few. And that feeling has been with her for a couple of days. But tonight, the Lord is already being with her and blessing her, it's taking the feeling away. Lord, we adore your name. We thank you. We are grateful for all the time and fellowship, all the deliverance. We want to thank you for your grace, your love. We thank you, Lord, because one day we're going to not exist anymore and you will be with you in eternity. Since now we glorify your name, we want to thank you for that. For the sacrifice, Lord Jesus, for how great our love is to our life, and and to know that one day we're gonna be with you in the new heavens, new earth. We want to thank for everything. We want to pray because one day you have chosen us to participate in this project of eternity. We want to thank you. Take us, take us to our houses. We pray in the name of Jesus and your. I would say the the grace and sweet and sweet level, sweet eternal Father, the eternal consolation of the Holy Spirit could be now, uh, now forever upon us. Amen. The brothers may be seated. Um, you that is with us, you do need a prayer, a word from the Lord. Just raise your hand and we go. We'll find you. And we will assist you. If you want to church, tomorrow there's uh, a 1030 Sunday school. If you want to, to participate with us. And at 730 there's a service of glorification for the Lord. And the 24th of March, we're going to be here at church. We're going to have a, a seminar for adolescents and, child and kids. It's going to be on Sunday. And everyone's invited to participate with us.